Hey, what up y'all, Mr. Cruz here, your friendly neighborhood producer back with another video. And in today's video, we are taking a look at the multi-shifter effect. Let's go. So what multi-shifter does is it takes your audio signal, right, wherever you have the effect on, and it's already gonna cycle it through these six different types of modulation. So our modulations are octave up or octave down, a fifth up and a fifth down, a fourth up and a fourth down for all of my football fans out there. And you get three different input types, whether you're throwing it on something general, this is what we're gonna be using it on. You can throw it on vocals or percussions or essentially drums. But I would suggest if you're throwing it on drums to make sure that the drums are not melodic. So I got this drum loop up here and what you'll notice is that there's an 808 or there's a bass in it. So that is not gonna work for using our multi-shifter for percussion because the melodic elements is gonna kinda throw this off. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into what this stuff down here is and what it essentially means. So let's take a listen first at the melody that we have here. I'm gonna bypass this so we can hear it just as it is. So with this, all this really is is a pitch shifter duplicated six times at six different settings. So if I were to go here under pitch shifter, we have this one. So this is the exact same thing, except it's kind of six different copies of this one. An octave up is gonna pitch shift this 12 semitones up or pretty much 12 keys up. And if I were to open up a instrument, so right now my octave is in C sharp minor. So this would be C sharp minor. If I were to go up an octave, that means I'm going up 12 semitones or pretty much 12 steps here. So I'm gonna go 12, uh, 12 notes. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 to L. These two are the same notes. They're just pitched an octave up. So all that to say, that is what this effect here is doing. It's pitching it up. And this knob here functions as like a dry wet knob, the same kind of thing that we get with a lot of our effects here. So I'm gonna pitch our dry knob all the way down. So now we're only gonna be hearing this melody that we heard previously pitched a whole octave up. <laughs> All right, so there you go. The same thing is with octave down where it's really just pitching it um, 12 semitones down. So now let's hear that one. Yo, I like that. I vibe with that one right there. To explain fifth up and fifth down, fourth up and fourth down, that one's a little bit more complicated. I'm no like guru or anything like that when it comes to like music theory. Cause if somebody came in my studio was like, yo, can you play me a, a B minor? I would not know what I would not know how to do it. I would have to like look it up in order to do that. But let's I'm gonna try my best to explain this here. All right, so C sharp minor. So this is where we are with C sharp minor. Now going a fifth up means I'm taking five steps up. So one, two, three, four, five. So now we are gonna be at C D E F F sharp minor. Ignore the names that are on there. Um let me see. There we go. So we're at C sharp minor, but we went five steps up and now we're at F sharp or B or G flat. So that's what this one right here is gonna do um, with the fifth up and the same thing with fourth down where instead of going four semitones, we're gonna go up, instead of going five semitones, we're gonna go up four semitones. So now let's see what this one right here with the fifth up sounds like. <laughs> I like that, that kind of, that sounds really dope. Now with the different input types that you get, you could do this on general, vocal, and percussions. Vocal, really only if you're doing like an acapella and I would throw this on anything before you have auto-tune. Don't throw it on after auto-tune, do it before auto-tune. And for percussions, like I said, as long as the drums or whatever kind of percussive loop you have there is not melodic, then this should be good on there. The last thing that we have here is our dry knob so that you can kind of blend a little bit of the original sound of the original pitch into the sound that you have. If this was me and if I was using this, I probably would keep the dry knob all the way down unless I'm only doing the octave up and the octave down. If I kind of want to filter those in and out as I see fit, that's great. But if I'm doing it with the fifth and the fourth, it's probably not going to sound really good. The other thing that you might run into, and this just kind of depends on your setup, if you have any of these knobs turned up, right? So if you're engaging any of the multi-shifter, then that signal 
because it's being processed, it's going to experience a bit of latency. So if you have these and you also have this turned up, like your dry knob turned up, so have the original signal playing, you're going to hear possibly some lag. So I'm going to do this here so you can hear like the octave up, octave down and the dry. And you'll kind of be able to notice that there's like a little bit of lag. Right. That doesn't necessarily sound good. So I would stick to either using um, any of the ones at the top or at the bottom in tandem with each other. So if I'm going to do the octave up and the octave down, cool. If I'm just doing the octave up or if I'm just doing the octave down, cool. But what I don't want to do is I don't want to do octave up, uh, fifth down and fourth up and the dry because that's going to sound absolutely terrible. <laughs> I swear that sounds like somebody threw Elton John down like an elevator shaft. If I'm going to be using the multi shifter, I'm probably not going to want to have the, the dry knob turned on, but that's just me. All right. Well, there you guys go. If you feel like you've learned something in this video, make sure you hit that like button for me. If this multi shifter effect is something that you think you would use, let me know in the comments below, or if you've used it before, let me know how you have used it and like what the results were. If you want to check out more band lab tutorials, click right here. Outside of that, it's your boy, Mr. Cruz out.